I'm offering my Savage River D2X flat water marathon racing canoe for sale for $2,300. For the next few minutes, I'd like to invite you to take a closer look at this canoe. This D2X is designed for competitive athletes weighing between 160 and 210 pounds. It is specifically a flat water marathon canoe, and it was designed and built by John Diller of Savage River Works in Oakland, Maryland. It's a full carbon, carbon layout pro package that includes an integrated sliding foot brace and a triple layer seat pad. It includes carbon thwarts and all angles and fittings are carbon fiber. There are no aluminum braces or tubing. All fittings on this canoe are fabricated with carbon fiber and stainless steel fasteners. The weight of this canoe is in the low 20s. It's 18 and a half feet long and it is the same design that has won numerous national championships in all classes. The integrated sliding seat and foot brace has very smooth movements in this canoe. The foot braces can be easily adjusted to fit the full range of athletes. While the movement is smooth, the nylon snot slots are perfectly fitted and there is absolutely no slop or, noose or looseness in this mechanism. All hardware, both moving and stationary, is in excellent condition. The foot braces have adjustable foot straps. and all decals and brand markings are in near perfect condition. The seat is layered with three foam pads. The base layer is, has a special cutout design and this is a very comfortable seat especially for longer races. There are nylon spacers to adjust both the height and the pitch of the seat in both the front and the rear. And these adjustments are easily done using a Phillips head screwdriver and an adjustable wrench. There is a dense foam cutout for a two liter drinking system. This is positioned a few inches behind the seat. The small Anderson baler is in excellent working condition. During each season, I regularly clean the stainless steel baler and apply a narrow bead of GE silicone as a seal to prevent any leakage. Because this canoe was built with a full Carbon Pro package, all thwarts, braces, and tubes are made with carbon fiber. This is a very simple yet a very effective Velcro attachment for the small, small knee braces. There is a foam paddle holder. The paddle can be accessed during a race. Here's another pan of the um, hull. To prevent oxidation and maintain a fast racing hull, I've occasionally applied a thin clear coat and buffed it with Meguiar's compound. I've also used additional applications of J505 UV protectant and I've always stored and traveled with this boat in a bag lady boat bag. Here's another closer look at the hull finish. While there are some noticeable pressure dents and a few bubbles, most racing hulls like this one will eventually require professional refinishing using West System Epoxy. Here's another closer look at the hull.
Here's another closer look at the port side of the hull. Now this canoe comes uh, with a navy blue bag lady uh, cover. And we'll show you this right here. As I said uh, before this program started, I always covered this hull during traveling to races and whenever storing it. And this bag uh, that's included with this canoe uh, has been thoroughly washed. I've also modified the bag with an additional clip, as you can see right here, to give it a very tight fit. As you can see, the um, navy blue is much lighter on the bottom. This is due to the bleaching effect of the sun's UV rays. A bag like this should always be used to give the hull the most possible protection. And here's a final look at the canoe with the cover. If you're interested in this boat, uh, I'm asking $2,300 and I will deliver in New England. Uh, you can reach me. My name is Bill Farrell. I'm in Grantham, New Hampshire, area code 603-252-5904. And you can email me at bill at billfarrell.net. Thank you.